the great fire of Chicago. I mean, don't believe the official version, just like today with the news being so fake and ABC, CBS, and NBC being so artificial. It's no different in the 1890s, 1860s, 1850s. Now, many of the news sources were quite genuine, such as the discovery of nine and a half foot tall giant skeletons and, and, all, and, and all over America. They've been found everywhere in America. Some of them with six fingers and six toes, uh, red beard, red headed, red bearded giants. Um, it's very interesting. But uh, with the fires, what, what was going on in the 1800s is very similar to what just happened to California this past in the past nine months. Strange things, whole forest fires. Humans are not setting these fires. There's no, there's nobody out there lighting matches and throwing them in California. Ten thousand different fires going around. Too many people have seen unusual phenomena in the sky that is that is creating these these fires. Some of the neighborhoods in California, it's almost as if a huge swath of energy just passed through the neighborhood and burnt up every single house, every single vehicle, everything of human manufacture, and not one sparrow's nest, tree, or great or blade of grass got burnt. So bizarre. A lot of this has been kept from the public. I don't want to get into it because I really don't want to talk. I really don't want to haggle with, with YouTube centers and all that crap. But it's the exact same thing that's been found all around the world. Any of you who have read William Corliss's source book project books, they are so deep. They're harder to find. One of the best books is a handbook of amazing or puzzling artifacts. And it shows that whole civilizations and cities were vitrified from the sky. Something in the sky just decides one time, you know what, this civilization here, man, are taking them out. And they melt. Don't know what happens to the people because their, their remains aren't found, but their buildings are are vitrified. Vitrification is the application of heat that is so rapid it actually changes the chemical structure of the rock and turns it into glass and crystal. And these have been found in England, Scotland, Wales, Cornwall. They have been found across North America. They have really been found all west of the Rockies in all those desert regions. Uh, Death Valley. Within 12, under 12 feet of sand in Death Valley is an entire civilization that was vitrified. A lot of evidence, uh, a lot of evidence for that. Uh, the Utah salt fat, flats, the entire petrified forest in Arizona was vitrified. Uh, this is just the opposite of a flood. This is some type of technology. This isn't, so this isn't a celestial phenomenon. Again, the destructions throughout history have been too localized. Throughout An Anatolia, uh, Hittite, Turkey. This area, this civilization in 1229 during the Trojan War, it was vitrified. Lightning strikes were seen from the sky. This is what is described in ancient stone tablet records. Lightning strikes, blast thunderbolts, that's what it's called, thunderbolts were seen from blue skies. They burned whole cities in Hattusis. They burned all the whole Hittite civilization. It was under attack from the sky. No humans had to invade. They, now, they're, now the Azeans and others, like, like Merciless Kingdom, uh, the Lydians, man, they, they loved it, but it wasn't them. The Hittites were taken out from the sky. This has happened many times. We probably have uh, enough evidence today to assert that the Mayan civilization was taken out in the exact same way. It's, uh, this isn't the Phoenix phenomenon. This is something I haven't. For, for which I haven't found a mathematical predicate. 1899 B.C., 1849 B.C., uh, 1447 B.C., the Exodus event, the 10 plagues. I don't know if that really happened or not. It's not connected to anything, anything as far as other cataclysms. I can find no correlates. Uh, 713 B.C. is connected to the Mayan long count, as I showed in the video, but other than that, it's not. It's the, that's the Earth retrograding. Uh, 365 AD, the, the Mediterranean world is absolutely destroyed in tsunamis and earthquakes. Uh, well, as a matter of fact, in 365 AD, the destruction was so perfect that it's only mentioned by one historian in the entire ancient world. It was it wiped out everything. Ammianus Marcellinus mentions it, and he talks about the boats that were found very far inland in Greece after that after that destruction. But there was earthquakes all around the Mediterranean world, and the ocean was, and and, and the people of Alexandria died. Because 
their dumbasses ran out there and picked up all the porpoises and dolphins and sea turtles and crabs and, and everything, the, the octopus, they saw nothing but food. When the sea disappeared, they saw all that food and they ran out there to get it. Three hours later, many of them had not come back when a wall of water two or three hundred feet high came rushing back at a hundred miles an hour. They couldn't, they're dead.